Hi, welcome back to my channel. I can sew. I'm Kendra, and before I head to the gym today, I thought I'd come to you with some ideas of dresses or uh, not just dresses, but I have a couple skirts, um, pants. Do I have some pants? I probably have some pants in here too. Um, to sew for holiday parties, gatherings, or simply to wear to the mailbox if you just want to feel festive on your way to drop off your gifts. So let's start with what I think is festive, right? I've told you before, I don't buy a lot of um, holiday stuff. So what I try to buy are, I buy patterns all year round, all the time, um, with the exception of this last release um, in the fall. I didn't really buy but one pattern. So, but I have some things that I've already sewn and some things that I think will be beautiful in some satin or sequence. Um, Outfits. So, you know, you can wear dresses, skirts, pantsuits, jumpsuits, whatever, um, blazers. You can do all of these things and you put them in a certain fabric um, color and it's all of a sudden festive. So, that is what we're going to go over today. So, trust me, I have patterns galore. Some I've already sewn, some I haven't sewn. Let's go through them. So, to start off with, I want to start with something that I found to be very easy. It only had uh, two pieces, I think, maybe three. Two pieces because the sleeves and the bodice are all one, right? And this is the um, runway A6120. So this is when New Look was working with Project Runway. Awesome things. This was very easy. Even if you look at what she has on here, it's just very um this beautiful material here can you imagine that in a red a green um cream black even something like that you could simply make this and send it on it was very easy to make and things with bows on it i think automatically you could be like hi i'm your present so she has this belt on too it's an ob belt and if you see on the back here it's right here and i've actually made that belt it was super, super, super easy to make. Um, and I made it for another dress where I wanted to kind of cinch in the way. So if you um, are looking at something like this, this is a good one. The next one I have is here. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this pattern right here up again because it is simplicity. It's not zero eight. Let me get the actual number for you here. It is... 8013, very popular um, uh, dress here. A lot of people who I follow on Instagram and YouTube made this a few years ago. Let me point out to you that the patterns that I picked here are still available on the Simplicity and the Macaw and the Butter website. If they're not, um, if you don't see them directly on the website, then make sure you go to the discontinued or out of print section, um, especially when they're on sale. And you can still get these items, okay? These things here. Also, make sure you check out your local Joann's because they are still probably in the drawers. I see all of these in the drawers. Um, and again, they're always saying they're out of print. They're there. And on sale day, you can still get them for the sale price. So the reason why I like this 8013 here is because, again, it's long. It's beautiful. It flows. It has this bow in the middle. It is simple. Now, I'm going to bring this up again to you a little later because um, on my when I find my Joann's video, because Joann's used this same pattern to make someone a coat. And when I tell you that coat was beautiful, I'm going to find the ad and I'm going to show it to you. But in a short, like one of the short videos. The next thing I found was this here. This skirt to me is beautiful and it has a bow-like detail in the front here. It's very simple. Imagine putting it into like a very festive color. It'd be it'd be great. This is um Cynthia Raleigh. You know, you can't go wrong with Cynthia Raleigh. Um, and her, it is number 1366. It is simplicity. Simplicity 1356. High low skirt with a bow at the top. Very pretty. The next one I have, which I've seen both Mimi G and Brittany. J. Jones make multiple versions of is this dress here. So 
So if you ever want to see their version, look up Mimi G and Brittany J. Jones because they made this version in many colors. And it is beautiful. And I think it's very simple. Um, and it's something that you can put in, even in this color here, you know, she could look festive, you know, put some Christmas earrings on or something like that. And I think it'll look great. But it's a perfect, simple solution to a holiday party. Taking a Cynthia Raleigh. And what I think looks like a Christmas tree <laughs> is this dress here. And this is 9012. Simplicity 9012. You can't tell me that doesn't make her look like a Christmas tree. And if you put that in the right color, even like a velvet, green velvet, red velvet, cream velvet, there you go. There's your holiday outfit. Very simple to make. Only has nine pieces to this dress. And I'm sure the nine pieces include the belt that they can um they have cinched around this one here. But I think you should leave it open and look like a full Christmas tree. This dress, this one here is $80.49. Now, I was not in love with this when I bought it, but because they were doing kind of this vintage thing, I, I bought this a couple years ago and I like it. Now I'm thinking this would be a great outfit if you want to put like a bow on it. Again, you know, it's very holiday. Anything bow-like is holiday to me. And it's a simple wrap dress when you put it on. You can see how she's putting it on here. You just slide it across. It's kind of, it's a wrap style dress. Very pretty. Very pretty, very simple to wear. Um, it's not in the middle of McCall's 7429. Also looks like a bow to me. It also hides the belly very well. So if you ladies decide that you think you're going to eat a lot at Christmas, this is perfect for you. Now, that knot, that twist thing, I've heard was kind of difficult to make. Rest assured, Brittany J. Jones made this same dress and she showed in detail how to do the knots. So a lot of people have followed her tutorial and made this dress and it is gorgeous. I even saw one lady make it as a shirt and it came out pretty, it was cute as well. But again, I just think this is a gorgeous dress that you can wear to a nice holiday party. If you want to wear a jumpsuit, a simple jumpsuit to a holiday party, here is a beautiful jumpsuit that you can wear. And it is, of course, the number is not on it. This is when Simplicity partner with Project One Way. And the number of this one is 8214. 8214. So this and everything on here is beautiful. But I was trying to find something that was very simple. And again, it's got the pussycat tie. So, hi, I'm a present. Now, this one here also has a tie. I know you think, you gosh, everything with a tie does not mean Christmas. But no, but this here just comes in so many multiple colors. I think that um, C right here is gorgeous with those layers. And I actually like it in red. Depending on the material that you use, it can also have a holiday look. Now, if you're one of those corny people, and I don't mean corny in a bad way, but if you're one of those corny people who like to wear, like, Christmas uh, prints, this is a nice one, too, because this one here, when it came out, was something that everybody was mixing prints on. So, you, you see here, this is not the same print. Let me show you the back here. This is not the same print. So, if you're somebody who wants to wear, like, you know, the Black Santa Claus, or you want to have elves or jingle bells, on your clothing, then this is something that you can wear here. And this does say that it can be made with um, where is it? with cotton blends. So there you go, it has you covered. Speaking of Christmas fabric, that you can insert into something. I hope you guys can see this. This is McCall's, uh, once again, we have this number here, these different numbers. Of course, I pick a lot of things up off of display. 8178. Now, if you get 8178, this has gussets in between here. You can see here the gussets. It's a different color than what's out here. So it's in these in between things, right? So I think it's called gussets. You know, it might be called Go Days. Jesus Christ. Am I saying this right? I don't think I'm saying it right. It's an easy um, way to insert different colors in here. And to have, I don't think I'm saying the right word. Oh, shoot. Whatever. 
whatever. You know what I mean? It's in between. It has these like cutouts in between. It widens it. And when you make that, if you put in holiday print, voila, you have a holiday outfit. Now, if you want, there's another dress, skirt that I want to show you. This skirt is very pretty. I just like it. I think that putting it in a holiday print would be pretty um, overall, but I just like it. So, <laughs> I, I just I just like this. And it's actually in one of the only like three butterick patterns I have. I usually don't like butterick because butterick to me is um very mature like in their um designs. And I'm not going anywhere that requires that look. So I usually don't get it. What I find here, too, if you want to do something formal, because I know I showed you two dresses. All of them can be formal, so cocktail events, formal events, and you will look great. But I wanted to give you this option, too. If you put these skirts, satin, maybe uh, even sequins, if you're bold enough, this is a very pretty one, too. And this is McCall 7355, and this is very pretty. And it has different limbs to it. Yeah, so that is that is gorgeous. And um, you can either get, make it with the tie or without the tie or whatever. So imagine that. This dress here, I've seen a lot of people make this dress. This dress is gorgeous. Especially this one. Look at this here, the opening. This dress is gorgeous. One sleeve, you know, it has mermaid print. It has so many different options. But I think that this is a gorgeous holiday formal dress option. Now. I, I didn't leave this for last. Um, I mean, I left this for last on purpose. So you know how they'll have like a male version of those holiday um, blazers and they'll have like Christmas trees. They just have all these weird like Christmas or holiday um, prints on them. Well, you know what? You can make a female version of that too with this one right here. And this is Simplicity uh, 0519. This is a very popular one. If you follow, a, um, she's a blogger. She's a magazine owner. She is um, a vlogger. She has uh, uh, she's a social media influencer. Her name is That Black Chick. That Black Chick. C-H-I-C. If you follow her, she's made this jacket multiple times in different prints, and it is gorgeous. But imagine making this with a holiday fabric all over. Absolutely gorgeous. So I wanted to show you what I think, or give you some options to what I think you can use as holiday prints and, I mean, holiday patterns to make you some dresses and things of that nature if you're going somewhere or if you're hosting your very own party. So again, this is just a few looks that you can pull off from bow looking to a Christmas tree to just something very simple, elegant, to a very festive coat, again, to something very formal. So again, Make sure that you check these out. Don't forget that I think next week, next couple of weeks, Simplicity and McCall, Vogue, Butterick, and Quick Sew are all having holiday sales. And you too can either take these options or you can look at um, different fabric types or different fabric options, different prints, and apply them to some patterns that you already have and automatically turn them into something festive. So again, voila. Happy holidays, everybody. And thank you again for going on me, on going through this journey with me. This is day five of the um, 2021 Blogmas, and I'm having such a fun time. Now, off to the gym for me.